Hey everybody, my name is Chris Hamoud and I'm going to show you how to upload your uh, production Meteor app to Amazon Elastic Beanstalk. Uh, I run Paytags, which is a 100% Meteor app, and uh, I've found that Elastic Beanstalk is the best place to host a production app because a few, like a month ago, someone tried to DDoS me and I was... And my server held strong, so uh, I was getting like a thousand requests per minute for like two hours. All obtrusive traffic and uh, Elastic Beanstalk held just fine. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. You just have to know what to do. All right, so here we go. Uh, first, I'm going to first I'm going to create a media project. Uh, I'm going to call it. Uh, Meteor create blog, uh, and I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna do Meteor add accounts uh, password. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do Meteor add account password. Meteor add accounts UI MRT add. Uh, Blog. And what this is going to do is just going to give us a out of the box uh, blog site uh, that we can do stuff with, and uh, it'll let me show you how to uh, handle this stuff. All right, uh, including like. Uh, <clears throat> including like uh, databases and stuff. Um, and then you run Meteor. Go to localhost. And we have a blog. So if we go to blog, we don't have anything. If we go to admin slash blog. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I need to create an account first. So, uh, since this is production, I'm going to do Meteor Remove Auto Publish, Meteor Remove Insecure, and then I'm going to run Meteor and open up a new tab, uh, CD Apps uh, Blog, and then I'm going to do Vim Blog.html. And I'm going to add the login button, this right here. Sign up really fast. All right, cool. Then if we go to admin slash blog, you can create a blog post, uh, stuff, stuff, and then stuff. Save that. Publish it, and then if we go back to just blog, just to make sure everything's in there. All right, cool. So it works. Uh, if you want, you can make it prettier. Um, do meteor add. Bootstrap. All right, yeah, that looks a little better. All right, so now that we have a working Meteor app, uh, this is something that you have to do. If you're running uh, Meteor version uh, eight point or zero point eight point two or later, you're gonna and you want to release on Elastic Beanstalk, you are going to have to uh, downgrade to eight point one. Uh, the reason is node containers on Elastic Beanstalk currently need to uh, only go up to version 0.10.26 and you need uh, version 0.10.28 to run the newest version of Meteor. So what you do is you run Meteor update dash dash release uh, 0, 0 0.8.1. And then uh, if you run Meteor, 
Uh, you'll see that 8.2 is available. Uh, yeah, sorry, that's just what you're going to have to deal with. And then in order to handle all this stuff, um, just wait for these things to update. It doesn't take too long. Uh, so now what you can do is you're going to have to run the Meteor bundle thing. So you run Meteor bundle uh, bundle bundle.tgz. Uh, this takes a second. Um, I can, uh, I'll probably do this because it takes a minute. All right, now that that's done, what you're going to do is uh, I move it, so I'm going to move uh, bundle.tgz up one directory, and then I'm going to move up directory, and I have my bundle.tgz right here, because when you when you uh, unzip it, it's going to create a bunch of files, and it'll make your app not work. So then you run tar. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to put all these things uh, in the description as well as probably in a GitHub gist. Uh, you run tar zxvf uh, bundle.tgz. You're going to see this go off. And then you're going to run sudo cp-a -A bundle uh, and this is going to look pretty scary, but don't worry, it's fine. Uh, and then you're going to CD into the bundle. And then you're going to run RM, RF, programs, server, node modules, modules, fibers. And now that that's gone, uh, you need to create a new directory called uh, EB extensions. So you do uh, make directory period E B E X T E N S I O N S. Uh, and then you CD into it. And then you do uh, vim, uh, and then the name of whatever uh, your application is, dot config. So in this case, it's blog.config. And then what you need to do is is copy this into it. and paste it. And basically what this is saying is it's giving your AWS secret key uh, and I'm actually not going to do this because you don't necessarily need it. Uh, port 8081 and then you need to give a Mongo URL. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go to Mongo HQ uh, where I already have an account and I'm going to use this uh, I'm going to use this one, which is, and this is where you put this, the URI, Mongo uh, user password at the endpoint. And I'm going to use this database, which I've already set up for this video. Um, you can set up one uh, to be whatever you need it to be. And you put that right there. So my username is Chris. My password is Meteor Beanstalk, and then that's my endpoint. And then... Uh, I'm also going to put the, so that's the one main thing. Everything else I will put uh, in the gist or in the description. Uh, it's no big deal. Um, after that, what we need to do, oh, you need to save this first. And then you can quit out of it. And then what I'm going to do is go back into the terminal. Uh, and then you need to create a package.json. So vim package.json. And then, basically, uh, basically what this package.json is going to say is that you need uh, you need to install fibers um, because we just removed it. 
and then uh, make sure that this is all formatted correctly. So the name is blog, uh, version, all this stuff, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, and then just make sure that you are adding fibers because that is uh, what you need. Okay, so we have that now. Uh, you can quit out of it, and then you're gonna go to Elastic. Be you're gonna go to uh, you're gonna go to your Amazon Web Services uh, thing right here. Click on Elastic Beanstalk. Uh, this is gonna load up. Then you're gonna create a new application, and we're gonna call this one Meteor uh, Blog. And then we're just gonna say Blog for Meteor. Click next. Click web server, and this is gonna. Uh, you want Node.js, and this in environment type you want load balancing and auto scaling. Next, uh, upload a sample application. I'm gonna upload a sample application at first, just to show you that this works. Uh, and then you have your environment variable. This should all be fine. Uh, click next. Uh, you don't need any of this. Just keep, keep clicking next. I'm gonna choose my. Uh, doesn't really matter. Next, next, and then launch. <clears throat> and this is going to take uh, a few minutes, so I'm going to cut it and I'll cut back when it's done. Okay, so the sample application is done. You can see that it's running the sample application. The health is green. You click on this. It'll take you to the congratulations, your first Elastic Beanstalk Node.js application is now running. Uh, so yeah, now what we need to do, we need to upload and deploy. Uh, so now you need to choose a file, but it only accepts zip files. So we're going to have to actually go back um, and uh, go into Finder. Go into Apps, our blog. Uh, you're gonna have to make sure that oh wait no I'm sorry go into the bundle now you're gonna have to make sure that you can see uh, hidden files such as uh, EB extensions here and uh, then you're gonna select all of them right click compress eight items uh, this will take a second uh, and then you're gonna get this archive.zip All right, after that's done, I'm actually going to just mark this with the color orange. Uh, and then I'm going to upload and deploy. I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to click on the orange, add this archive, uh, and then deploy. And when this is, this is going to take a second to deploy. Uh, so I will probably cut it and come back. And now we have this green uh, health thing. Uh, let's check this and see if it uploaded. So we click this and you see that it did. Uh, let's say we want to create an account. I'll do Chris at Chris.com and then I'll give myself a password which will be Meteor. Um, I hope this video helps some people deploy to Elastic Beanstalk because I really do think it's the best uh, place to host a Meteor app uh, production. Um, it's the same price as an EC2 instance, uh, and putting, uh, the Elastic Beanstalk on it is no extra charge. Uh, so yeah, my name is Chris. I run paytags.com. Uh, thank you so much. Yep. Bye.